Hi friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can design a particular machine component which you can see on the left side. So this particular part uh, is actually requested by one of my subscribers and here I'm going to show you how you can design this part with least number of steps. Alright, so let's just go ahead and select the part design workbench and before doing this we'll just analyze the particular uh, the whole figure so as you can see we have a pad a total pad here which is of thickness 60 and we got a uh, particular portion removed and on this face you got a uh, two cylinders being uh, padded and uh, it's been holed and uh, that's it so let's just start off with uh, the basic sketch so I'm gonna do this particular sketch so before starting off I want to uh, tell all the viewers that uh, the people who are you know the beginners can watch this video because this video shows the basic steps and uh, it's not actually advised for the intermediate or expert users alright now let's just go ahead and give this particular distance is 350 and this is 200 alright now select these two and make it a dotted line this is done because as we know it's not really a rectangle we got a curve here so we're gonna create that curve right now use a circle and create this circle here and do the dimension for that circle we know that it's 138 radius and then use the profile tool and do just touch it this way and you get the tangent if you are not getting it that way just leave it like this and then use the dimension command and do the tangency that will be fine now select this whole circle and make it as uh, dotted lines and trim this particular portion and select this line here and do the measuring for it and oh you can actually select this line circle and make it as uh, real lines and trim all the remaining stuff here alright and give a dimension for this I'll just uh, select the circle part here and make it a dotted line because uh, at the end of the day we need the whole sketch to be in the green uh, color because that that says that it's completely constrained and now I'll select this and I'll give a mirroring for it and I'll mirror it so now come out of the sketch and do a padding in this case padding we are going to give a padding length of 30 mirror extent if we give 30 mirror extent it is 30 on both the sides and that counts to be 60 so we got a 60 here so a 60 padding now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give sketch on this because we got to create this particular hole right here this particular portion has to be removed so just give on the sketch and create the sketch just use the coincidence command coincidence and see if it is in the right way how we need so actually this point has to come down okay as we know this is 200 from here to here it's 200 so from this point 
select this point right here and this line will make a hundred and then we gotta do one more thing this line and this line makes an angle of 60 degrees so the sketch is complete and now you can do a pocket pocket of up, up to next on both the sides so it removes that particular portion right there now select that pocket and go to insert transformation feature mirror and select this particular plane and it mirrors on both the sides so we got this por particular portion done and what is remaining is this particular portion and a few number of holes so this is it for this particular part of the tutorial and if you have any doubts any clarifications please feel free to comment just below my video and i'll be getting back to you as soon as possible and uh, you can always write to me at ketia.prodotuser at gmail.com dot user at gmail.com that's my email id and you can attach the reference files which is uh, you know uh, which th you have the doubt and if you have any projects or any CAD projects you can always uh, contact me for that and I'll be helping you out and I'll, I'm uh, ready to undertake the project too and that's all and thank you so much